There's nothing better after a hard day of slaying monsters or popping a cap in some fool's ass than settling down to a lovely bite to eat with the fam, or, or kicking back and having a drink with your loved ones. If you're lucky enough to be a character in a video game, it's highly likely that you'll be treated to a whole host of dining experiences from whatever world you happen to inhabit. Unfortunately, we mere mortals in the <laughs> real world have to make do with whatever fluffy roughs and egg and hab slabs we can scrounge up from our local Greggs. For this video then, we're exploring those fantastical food and drink establishments that our video game characters love to frequent between quests and that we wish we could too. If, like me, you love nothing more than chowing down on a delectable snackette, you'll probably also enjoy our other list of 10 delicious video game foodstuffs we'd love to eat, so why not give that a watch after you're done with this one? Uh, but please stick with this video first, it's really good, I promise! I'm Peter from Triple Jump, and here are 10 video game bars and eateries we'd love to visit. Number 10. Café Leblanc, Persona 5 if you're a person who loves food as much as I do, you can probably imagine nothing better than living in the attic above an adorable little Japanese coffee shop. Well, that is the lived reality of our protagonist in Persona 5, who is but a staircase away from a wide variety of delicious treats. Oh, imagine the smells when you wake up in the morning. Admittedly, Café Leblanc is short of a chef, and your landlord isn't exactly forthcoming in the cooking department either which means that you're expected to serve up the treats yourself, but please don't allow that to put you off. This delightful little eatery has space aplenty to enjoy a nice cup of coffee or whip up yourself a delicious curry. Why not invite your friends over too, because what could be a nicer accompaniment with your cup of joe and chicken katsu than talk of heist plans? After all, you can't dream up these schemes on an empty stomach, can you? So go ahead and mix business with pleasure, grab yourself a camper choo-choo, and get to stealing some hearts, you little scamp. Number 9. Milk Bar, The Legend of Zelda series the Milk Bar Kid is strong and tough, and only the best- Oh, no, it's not- it's not that, sorry. Have you ever wondered how Link grew up to be so gosh darn strong and handsome? Well, it's clearly because he's been spending all his hard-earned rupees down at the Milk Bar, chugging his body weight in dairy products. Not how I'd spend my paycheck, for obvious reasons. The Milk Bar is first seen in Majora's Mask, and is situated in East Clock Town. It's an exclusive members-only the establishment ooh, that serves creamery fresh delights to the well-connected locals. If you've got the right credentials, you can bag yourself an ice-cold glass of bog-standard milk for the bargain price of just 20 rupees, or if you're feeling a little more flush, why not splash out on a glass of the finest cow juice that money can buy? And while you're feeling a bit fancy, you could also purchase a glass of the vintage Chateau Romani for a mere 200 rupees. Yes, you sip down that very expensive creamy goodness and just try to forget that you're horrendously lactose intolerant. Number 8. The Seven Cats Inn. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. After a long day of witching and suffering through fools tossing coins at you, you've probably worked up quite a thirst, so sit yourself down and take a load off at the Seven Cats Inn. Don't be fooled by the adorable name, this tavern is a bit of a dive, frequented by misfits, scoundrels and knavish rogues, but is therefore the perfect hangout for a bloke of ambiguous morals like Geralt of Rivia. The beer is flowing, the welcome is warm, and the walls are uh, wooden. Kick back with a nice glass of whatever brown alcohol is on offer today, perfect for washing down your chunk of strange grilled meat. Again, we'll hope that the name of the place is as unrelated to the ambiance as it is to what's on the menu. You can of course pick up a quest or two whilst you're here, or just while away the hours counting the numerous feline friends that can be found pottering about outside. Oh, it looks like there's seven of them. <laughs> oh, oh, that's where the name comes in. Oh, silly me. Oh, it's sweet they can just wander around like this. They, they don't come indoors though, do they? Like, not in the food preparation areas. Now I think of it, this grog does taste a bit funny. 
Number 7. Gelateria Bella, Hitman Picture the scene. You've just clocked off from a hard day of covertly assassinating a plethora of ne'er-do-wells, and you fancy a treat. Whilst a trip down the casino or blowing your money on drugs and women might be expected of a rascal like you, you're just not feeling it today. No, what you need, my friend, is a nice big scoop of ice cream. And where better to indulge your sweet tooth than the delightful Gelateria Bella? Nestled away in the fictional Sapienza, a picturesque coastal town in Italy, Gelateria Bella serves up a whole variety of delicious treats to crowds of hungry citizens. Choose from a wide variety of artisan gelatos, in cone or tub, you are the master of your own destiny after all, as well as pre-packed icy delicacies like the definitely not a magnum ripoff Exclusivo. And for those of you who fancy something a little less chilly, you can also enjoy a nice slice of cake. Mm just like grandma's. Pair that with the sunshine and lovely surroundings of Sapienza, and you've got the recipe for an afternoon that will put a smile on even Agent 47's stony face. D do you do hundreds and thousands? Number 6. Power Noodles In this world of post-apocalyptic Americana, there aren't all that many things to lift your spirits. A nuclear wasteland as far as the eye can see in one direction, bloodthirsty mutants in the other. And all the while, you have to come to terms with the fact that this is pretty much it. Like, forever. But wait a minute, did someone say noodles? Oh, they sure did, friendo. Suddenly, life is worth living again, and things aren't all as bad as they seem. Because although everything out there is a bit plops, you can head on down to power noodles whenever you fancy, and have yourself a bowl of steaming hot, uh, what's another word for noodles? Wet long boys. Whilst the flavour of noodles on offer is never revealed to the player, we think they look like they smell absolutely delicious, despite the fact that one of the broth's main ingredients is dirty water. Perhaps the best part of the dining experience here, though, is that the food is served up by an adorable little robot chef called Takahashi, who's always on hand to greet you with an enthusiastic, What's not to love? Number 5. Cluckin' Bell, the Grand Theft Auto series. Cock a doodle do, it's time for chicken. If you dream of having fried chicken prepared for you by an angsty, underpaid teenager, why aren't you in KFC right now? Uh, but also, Cluck and Bell is the spot for you. That's what I was supposed to say, sorry. Sadly, we're yet to be blessed in the real world with a fast food joint that serves up buckets of deliciously greasy, unidentifiable chicken pieces. Uh, believe us, we tried to find one. So for now, we'll have to live out our fantasies through the good people of the Grand Theft Auto series. Sure, it might look as oily and gristly as it gets, but fast food is fast food, and fried chicken is fried chicken as far as I'm concerned. Concerned. Treat your character to a clucking huge ultra meal, the delectable sounding foul burger, or a wing piece mega meal, all washed down with a giant cup of sprunk. If you're brave enough to venture out into the city with your kiddos, which you definitely shouldn't do, you know, because of all the crimes, they can look forward to a little clucker box meal. There's even something for the veggies in the form of the V eggy veggie meal, though it does contain eggs, a lot of eggs, so sorry to all of our vegan pals. There's a definite gap in the market for a real life Gluckin' Bell with the right business now, so we think. It could be a huge success. Maybe someone could dream up a proprietary blend of 10 secret herbs and spices. Or how about roping in some wizened old military man for the mascot? Uh, Lieutenant Flanders, perhaps? Uh, nah, nah, never mind, that'd never catch on. Number 4. Burger Time burger time. Although we're pretty certain that precarious scaffolding and evil sentient hot dogs don't generally find their way into your average Wendy's, we've been racking our brains for hours and still can't come up with a reason why they don't. Sure, the food preparation techniques here are a little questionable, but once culinary wizard and arcade protagonist Peter Pepper has wrangled together the ingredients, burger time serves up the absolute finest in, <laughs> you guessed it, burgers. Admittedly, you're not going to find any fancy fare here. No discard foie gras or hoisted crisper owl. We will never stop referencing that video, by the way. But sometimes all you want is something simple. 
and we're quite sure that Burger Time has the humble hamburger down to a T. Perhaps even better than the food itself though is the dining experience. Pop into Burger Time and you can watch some of the most elaborate kitchen gymnastics you've ever seen. No other chef puts on as good a show as this when at work. It's exactly what you need to accompany your perfectly seasoned hamburger served in a pillowy soft bun with crisp lettuce and tomatoes. Probably. We don't actually know, to be honest. It's like 8 pixels. Number 3. The Pig and Whistle Tavern World of Warcraft. Another entry here for those among us who favour a liquid lunch every once in a while. Located in Stormwind City in the district of Old Town, the Pig and Whistle provides a warm welcome to the weary Alliance Traveller. Although the food and drink on offer here is not the most varied, it's once again the state of the venue itself that keeps us coming back time and time again. Few pubs can boast a more welcoming ambiance and rustic charm. Whether you're looking for a quaint, friendly place to meet your comrades, a homely watering hole to spend the evening swilling ale, or just a cosy inn to rest your head, the Pig and Whistle has you covered. And if you do fancy a bite to eat, you can head upstairs and have a chat to Kendor Kabonka, who's peddling recipes for West Fall Stew, yum, beer basted boar ribs, double yum, and gooey spider cake. <laughs> Not so yum, but good to know this place even caters for garden birds. Just a note, however, for any horde players, who are thinking of paying a visit to this lovely little pub, you're going to find yourself in a TV tropes you ain't from round these parts stranger kind of scene before you can say Quinkies. Which sounds like a nonsense word I just made up, but number two, Quinkies. Watchdogs. Aside from the shocking things it will do to your cholesterol, what's not to love about a retro burger restaurant? We've already looked at one in this list, and here's another one we love even more. Dotted around the Watchdogs universe, Quinkies serves up a delicious variety of fast food at reasonable prices. From triple decker burgers and definitely 100% pork hot dogs, to glazed donuts and chocolate brownies, Quinkies has something for everyone, no matter how big your appetite. You can treat yourself to a cheeseburger and fries while you wait for your botnet to recharge, or grab a coffee and donut while you quickly hack someone's bank account. Just try not to fixate too much on the cleanliness of the establishment, which can probably best be described as dubious, but uh, good for your immune system, I say. So head on down to Quinkies, slip into a semi-hygienic booth, catch up on life admin, and shovel some high-calorie, low-cost hot dogs into your massive gaping maw you absolute champion. And number one, Mother of Pearl, Final Fantasy XV. There are a number of eateries to be found throughout the Final Fantasy universe. However, if you're feeling a little bit swanky, then Mother of Pearl might be just the nighttime spot for you. Situated in the Golden Key Resort, Mother of Pearl serves up a smorgasbord of seafood treats, as long as you've got plenty of coin. You can expect the menu to be full of dishes like Golden Gratin, which is some sort of oyster dish, we think, white fish and tomato sauce, which is exactly what it says on the tin, and Seas Bounty Resort risotto, which we're assuming is risotto filled with salt water and bounty bars. <laughs> delish. Keep in mind though that while all these meals do sound delicious, each one will set you back a hefty amount of cash. Still, you can't put a price on quality. And as you're emptying your wallet, why not treat yourself to a spot of pudding in the form of Tenebrain Berry Opera, if I said that right. In easier to pronounce terms, it's a sort of chocolate mousse slash cake looking creation that can be yours for the low, low price of 12,000 big ones? Jesus Christ, do I look like I'm made of money. I was about to suggest that you can enjoy your fishy feast all while surrounded by golden sands, palm trees, and crystal clear waters, but I don't think it would take long before you fell into a massive shame spiral thinking about the state of your next credit card bill, and the fact that you should have been saving the world this whole time. Has anyone got a fiver for the tip? And that's our list, but where in the gaming world would you most like to chow down with your pals? Let us know in the comments below. You can follow myself on Triple Jump on Twitter here, and if you want to support the things you enjoy, then check out the rewards on our Patreon. Finally, don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. I've been Peter from Triple Jump, and thanks for watching.